people what's up how y'all doing today i trust you're doing great thank you so much for clicking so in today's video i'm talking about things that you can do or things you should do or you could do or rather just things to do during your master's degree program abroad you know there's a very um popular saying don't just pass through a school let the school pass through you as well now in this case don't just come to a foreign country and just study and carry your bag and go like that without actually adding anything to your life without you know doing one or two things for yourself okay so yeah that's that for that now i'm basically going to be mentioning five things okay so the first thing is Form deep meaningful connections with your lecturers, your professors, and even your fellow students. In the long run, these your lecturers can actually stand as referees or references for you if you're looking for maybe a job or you have to be recommended for something. They could even recommend you for a job position if you are that good, okay? So yeah, that's that. In terms of your fellow students, it's very important for you to try to mix up with other students. Yes, right now, lockdown hasn't really given us the opportunity to really mix up with our colleagues. Like I noticed something about we Africans and also Asians we do that a lot we have a way of just mixing up with our own it doesn't really give you an opportunity I mean the whole idea of coming to a foreign country is for intercultural um, in relationship like mixing up with people from different cultural backgrounds and having to learn from them as well we really can't learn much if we always keep sticking to our kind and not mixing up with people it's basically just expand your knowledge horizon that's the idea of the whole thing like mix up with people from other ethnic cultures from other you know countries and all of that so yeah that's stuff for that the second thing you should do while you are doing your master's program is to travel okay before life really gets busy like probably you graduate you start to work full-time or you start to have a family of your own and you realize Realize that man all the time is gone like where did all the time go there's one travel quote that I really love it's an anonymous one is that travel is the only thing that you can buy that makes you rich and like you don't just get to spend money just to have fun most times you get to learn a lot of things while you travel go and learn about other cultures go and learn about other things happening in other parts of the world now when people are having certain kind of conversations they also have something very meaningful to contribute to it trust me it pays a lot just visit new places if you're in any of the Schengen countries in Europe you are at a very high advantage because you have access to so many countries with just one visa like it's a really rare opportunity and you really shouldn't sleep on it as a foreign student okay but in the uk i think there's an opportunity to go to um in turkey i think with an e-visa i'm not very informed about how that works but yeah if you're in the uk you can check it out like find out countries that you can visit with the kind of visa that you have if you're in the us i don't know how it works there i'm really not informed about the us find out how it works either in your city in your in your state or outside your state or even outside the country you know just travel you understand it doesn't have to be expensive you don't have to stay in a fancy place or a fancy hotel before you can say oh i've actually had a trip you understand it can just be a very low budget trip but just mix up with the locals of the area here in germany there are so many travel agencies who organize trips for students i'm going to leave their names on the screen or in the comment in the box in the description box i'll probably leave the links to their sites there are about four of them there's pm to am there's uniflush the study fountain i'm talking about here in germany i don't know about in other European countries. So my point is, most of these travel agencies just organize mini trips for students for a week, for a few days, for the weekend. The prices are really affordable. Like you can get a very good one for between 300 to 400 euros, covering your transportation, covering your feeding and your um, accommodation. Isn't that very affordable? The third thing that I really like to advise is for you to harness your skills. Now is the best time. Make yourself better, basically. If it has to do with soft skills, maybe learning a program or two online or getting a certification besides your master's program, now is the time to do that. I mean, these things are really going to come in handy if you are looking towards the career path. Speaking of learning as well, this could be a time for you to learn how to, you know, maybe ride a car or ride a bike, you know, anything that you weren't able to, you didn't have the opportunity of doing in your home country, now is the time to get your hands on and get to do those things. I know that in Germany, getting your driver's license is like very expensive, but these things come gradually, okay? You don't just, you know, start it in a day and finish it in a day. It really comes gradually. I think basically just do something apart from going to classes and coming back and reading your book okay it could be a hobby or something you enjoy doing for example myself i decided to start youtubing 
I'm really learning on the job. I'm enjoying it and I'm loving it. So just find something. One thing I'm going to advise is for you to try to get internships or jobs as a working student in your field of study because it's really going to give you an edge in the long run when you graduate. Most employers have some form of, you know, um, um, what's the word? They are more convinced that a candidate is suitable for a job when they are sure that he or she has acquired some sort of knowledge in that particular field during their course of studies, okay? So just try your best possible to acquire an internship or two or look for a job as a working student in your field of um, studies. It's really going to come in very handy. Last but not the least thing I would really advise is for you to have a vision board. Like you should be able to plan your life afterwards while you are studying. Like have a reflection of what you want your post master program period to be like, you understand? Ask yourself some very pertinent questions like after school, what next? After my master's degree program, what next? Do I really want to continue in this career path? Do I feel like I've wasted my time? Do I want to switch lanes? Or do I even just want to go into doing a business and just be a boss of my own? You know, these are the things you should be able to ask yourself while you are still studying so that when you graduate you're not just taking on unawares you're not able to take steps towards achieving or towards acting out those plans that you have made so yeah guys that's that for that i really hope this video was useful and beneficial to someone out there if you liked it please give it a thumbs up so that i know that you did and also smash the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and recommend my videos and recommend my channel to your friends and your family members for my channel visibility and for my channel growth and most importantly it's going to be a very big motivation for me to do more and do better okay so thank you guys so much for sticking around till now take care of yourselves and stay blessed till next time i see you bye